hey, welcome to Southside United Time for Kids. Great to see you again. Hope you're having a wonderful week. We're meeting, you're meeting, on land that God created. For Southside, the Yagra and the Toolbull people have cared for that land. So we pay our respects to the elders past, present and emerging. We pray that we will care for this land as they have cared for it. And so we want to stop and remember God. We want to pray. Reminding ourselves of God's love for us. Ready? Up we get. Ready? From the top of my head to the tips of my toes. From the lows of my ears to the end of my nose. From my back to my front to my wiggly fingers. God loves me. Yay. Let's sing about that God. The one and only God. Let's sing. Ready? One, two, three. Grover! Oh, hi, Richard. Hey, Grover. Sound a bit sad today. Um, I'm, I'm just over it. Over what? I'm, I'm just sick of COVID and, and masks and, and all those things. And, you know, sometimes you can't go and play sport and you and, and, and can't go and visit family because they're from another state and they can't come and visit you. And, and I had a friend and he was going to have a party and that got to get cancelled. and. Oh, I'm just over it. It's hard, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it's really hard with COVID. Are you guys finding it hard sometimes? It's, yeah. So, you know, yeah. But, oh, I thought it might just be a few months, but, you know, there's people over here and it's just going on and on and on and on. And on. And that's really on and on. It's hard and on and on. And it's hard to go on and on. And on. Oh, it is hard, isn't it? I mean, yeah, we'd like it to be finished. We'd like to just get back to how life used to be, wouldn't we? Oh, that'd be good. Yeah, but yeah, sometimes life goes on. You know, things are hard. And sometimes we face difficult things. Oh, we do. And you know what? In our Bible reading today, James. Oh, I know James is from that. That's been his last time. Not that James. Remember James, the brother of Jesus. Oh, I know you that James. Yeah. He says, my friends, be glad even if you have a lot of trouble. Be glad you have a lot of trouble. That doesn't sound right. It says it. Some translations say, um, consider it pure joy when you face um, difficult times. Oh, is this not joyful? How can I be joyful? You know, plans are ruined. And, you know, we only have one day of fun in the Sundays. I mean, days, days. It's much more than one day. I know, Grover, it's really frustrating. It's hard to find that joy. It is hard to find that joy. But 
James wants us to think that when we go through difficult times, we learn stuff. Oh, I guess sometimes we do. Yeah, and it can develop us as people and can develop our faith. Oh, really? Well, you think about how have you learned to trust God more this year? Oh, oh yeah, I guess you know, we, we always pray to keep us safe from COVID and we're all still healthy, so that's right. So we learned that God is faithful and looks after us. Oh yeah, and, 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 and we, we pray and God's there with us. That's right. Um, we've got to do this. That's right, we've got to do this. I get to see you every week. Right, I have to see you every week. Thank you, Grover. <laughs> Thank you, Grover. But we've developed and we've found good things out of the hard times. And so James tells us, when you're going through hard times, stop and think, what am I going to learn from this? What does God want me to know from what's going on? And how can I make this bad thing into a good thing? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, so we can learn. Yeah, and one thing we learn is that God is always with us and always helping us. He's always there, even in the bad times. Oh, there's a, yeah, God's there, I'm, God, God, God helps us in the bad times. That's right, bro. Oh, I'm feeling a bit better, Richard. Yeah, I mean, it'll be great when COVID's gone and we don't have to worry about all these things, but at least we know this time that God is with us. Oh, that's right. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go and you know, catch up with some friends while I can, so bye, everybody. Bye, brother. So James wants us to remember that even in the hard times, we can find joy because we know that we are growing, growing as people and growing in our faith. That as we trust God this time and see that God is faithful, that God will be with us in the future. So I hope even though it's difficult times, difficult times as we face lockdown, difficult times as we see and understand we can't catch up with family, that maybe you'll find ways to grow in your trust in God and know that God is with you. And there'll be hard times in the future, but God is always there for you. Let's sing Oceans that reminds us that God calls us out, but he's always with us in the difficult times. Let's see. Grace abounds in deepest waters. 
talking to your friends, sometimes you're silent and you listen to what they're saying. Well, hopefully you do. Sometimes when we're silent, you might hear God say a little bit. And we might get a bit of an idea of what God might want us to do, or what God's story about us is. And then we might talk with others about our problem. We might listen to what they say. And God can speak through them and give us wisdom. And then we get this full knowledge of who he is and what it means to follow him. And so when we don't have wisdom, when we're not sure about things, when we have a decision to make, we can talk to God. It might be, you know, as you grow up, what job do you do? And you talk to God. And I talk to God and that's why I work for the church, because I felt him say I said, what do you want me to do? And I wasn't sure. And then after I asked him, some the girl said, maybe which has a gift of pastoring, and I thought, ooh, what does that mean? Does that mean I need to do this? And then a few other things happened. And I came to know that God wants me to work in the church. So I didn't get my answer all at once, but God helped me. And so when we're in doubt, can be a big decision like that. can be all sorts of decisions. All sorts of things we want to help with. We can talk with God. Ask Him to help. And talk with others and listen to what they might say. Because God might speak them through them to us. Here's some thoughts for us today. Great passage, James. Love the book of James. Probably my favourite book of the Bible. Well, we've got Sunday school again at Mount Brevart and Tarragindi at 8.30. So love to see you there. If not, See you again, hopefully online next week. Bye, everyone. Hey, welcome to the on.